I'm Rhoda, welcome to my channel, and welcome to today's flat ab workout. We're going to be working abs, core, and balance, all important as you age. We want those flat abs, but we also want good balance and a strong core. If that's a type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe, and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. Start our core warm up. Swing the arms, knees up, get that blood flowing. Go ahead and bring the knees up in front, twist it out, abs are tight, pull in that lower ab right here. Pull it in, pull it in, just like that. Take one arm out front, scoop it out. Abs tight here. And we're going to go overhead, reach, really reach, round the arms and get over the head if you can, warm up those obliques, your waistline. And let's hit those inner obliques with a skate, swing the arms way out. Feel right between the ab and the weight here. I'm going to start with one of my medium weights. Most of these moves use just one dumbbell. If you don't have dumbbells, you have a couple cans of soup or a couple cans of water. That will work, and that's how I started. Long ago. Grab one weight. All right, we're going to hold the weight on either end. We're going to swing through our knees, come up and twist. Ready? Go to your right first. Up, twist. Take the bend out, take the knees, and handle the bend, okay? Hinge from the waist, flat back, bring it up, and twist. You can do this deep squat, or somewhere in between, let's do it. As you twist, squeeze the abs and squeeze the glutes. Those glutes are the lower end of your core. Have a nice rear side. It's all nice, a bonus, right? Twist. Whole core right here. Obliques and glutes. And rest. Good. Okay, you're gonna hold one weight in your right hand. Stepping into a side lunge, or you're gonna do more of a hinge. So getting that in your thigh, we come up and we pulse. Three, two, one. Here we go. Take it over to your left, over, up. Three, two, one. A little bend. Bring it up. Look at those obliques. Find where this side lunge works for you. Sometimes with my clients, squats or stationary lunges or rear lunges are, are possible, but you might find this lateral work despite the nature of the way the Weight is distributed in your body. Might be a little easier on your knees. Of course, it hurts. Don't do it, ever. But find where it doesn't, and you can get the motions. Good. All right, what happens on one side, happens on the other. It's kind of like Vegas, right? <laughs> then go to the other side. So make your modifications. I will always give you modifications in my videos. So if you have any issues, because I know. Ready? Here we go. A lot of us deal with three, two, one. As we age, even if you're not getting the deep bend here, doing a little bit right there, you're working those muscles, strengthening them. Potentially, over time, you might be able to get a little bit deeper in your lunch as those muscles strengthen around the joint. And the joint issues, unfortunately, keeps us from moving, which perpetuates the joint problems. You need to move, which you need to move safely. Over and up. One more, come on. Why not? The weeks are fun to work. Good. Stay with my one weight. This is a discus, it's fun. We're gonna take this weight, we're gonna twist. You're gonna feel that inner oblique right here. Bring it up, stop the weight, 
crunch over your knee. So it's back, up and crunch. Ready? Here we go. Twist, get up, crunch. Now, don't rush it. Stay your twist. Stock the weight, then do your crunch. As you come up right here, squeeze the glute. Bonus, ready? Here's part four. Balance involved here. Right here, balance. Your midsection should start to feel nice and warm. I just realized I forgot to start my watch. I do this all the time. I'm gonna do it. Might as well, right? Get it going. Better late than never. Go on the other side. I just want to see the car break. Okay, ready? Take it to the other side. This is. Lower. Bring it up. Crunch. These moves, combination of compound strength, upper and lower body going at the same time, it really becomes a little impact cardio move, too. Some are more cardio based than others in this workout. But we all have an element of strength. And heart rate up because we're working upper and lower body in the same movement. A lot of lower abs so far. Going on to a halo. I want you to follow along with me. Don't overthink this. You want to go one direction and then the other. You're going to take the weight. This from the waist up and around, and then you go back the way you came. I want to see your hips move, okay? Abs tight. Here we go. Up and around, and down. Back the way you came. The more movement you can get in this core, the better. Again, a little bit of a balance, even though both our feet are on the floor. This weight over our head is throwing our body weight off. Up and around. Knees are loose. Don't lock your knees here. And the focus, especially working abs, keep breathing. So focused in. Hold our breath. And we have tight muscles around our body. We want to do body check. Make sure you're pretty loose in the legs and the arms. And really focusing on this twist in the core. Good job. All right, this is our first true balancing element here. I'm going to grab my other weight. We're gonna have one toe back. You're gonna hinge forward with the leg up if you can. Do a fly. And the other side. Ready? Here we go. Abs tight. Lift. And lift. Or tap back. Tap back. Abs are tight here. Weight's coming out to the side. Squeezing the mid back. Shoulders are relaxed. Arms are slightly bent. A tough lift. Use a medium weight. You're going to be good with this because we have a little pause, a little rest right here. Here we go again. 10 more seconds. Come up right about now. Stay with me. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> I felt my stable as light was kicking there. And that's good. Okay, back to one leg. Deep breath. How's your heart rate? 130, right in my low end cardio range, burning fat. What I want. Weight is here, abs tight, around the back, knee in, standing crunch. Round. As you round, pull the belly button to the spine. Crunch it. Abs tight. Come on. You want to work that belly button in the lower ab area. I know it. I hear it all the time. <laughs> For myself, too. At the same time, I want you to be kind to yourself. I tell my clients that. Especially, you know, women who have children. You're not going to be that 16 year old flat stomach ever. And that's okay. Because our bodies do amazing things. And that's good. Alright, one way suitcase swing. Now, you can either squat here. Swing in the weight back and up. It's a swing, not a lift. All right, watch your knees or you hinge. 
down and up. You're gonna work this oblique on this side. Here we go. So down, watch the knees. Abs tight. Think about the weight and the heel of the foot on the side. The weight is something. So your right side. Remember to modify with a hinge versus a bend in the knee. A little bend here, but not impacting weight onto the joint there. You need to protect those knees. You're gonna feel the right side of your body, the right side of your core, really working. And I'm swinging the weight, I'm not lifting, I'm letting it swing. That's gonna make the stabilizers work. The balancing muscles versus you know, your arm lift, lower. But by just swinging it, these muscles get recruited to help. All right, other side, watch the knees. Don't let the feet so far apart that you're gonna hit that knee. Ready? Here we go, swing it. Now it's tight, weight in the heel, it's standing leg on the side, your left side is swinging. Drive to the heel, whether you're squatting or hinging forward. All the way up, it's forward squeeze. moves quickly, you need a longer rest. Stop with, you know, 10 seconds left in the round. So I'm gonna increase your rest from 15 seconds to 25. A little more recovery time. If you're just starting out, perfectly fine. Before you know it, you're gonna be getting through the entire 45 seconds. All right, skating with the weight. We'll step to your right. I want you to swing it big. That's gonna get those obliques. Bring the toe bend back and back. Tap, tap, make it big. You can do this without weight, but if you're just starting out and you have water bottles or soup cans, just use one, it should be fine. And that's gonna help really bring it into your ab, just controlling that resistance out in front of you. Skaters. I haven't met too many people that don't like skaters. A lot of people that don't like one, just like me. They interest. Okay. Well, these are hard. Yeah. Okay, deep breath. It's called a uh, sledgehammer, similar to that halo. You're going to hold the weight on the end. We're bringing it all the way around this time, though. Sledgehammer down, up and around. So we're going a little deeper. Ready? Up and around to your right. Hinge forward, slam it. Up and around. And slam. A little bend in the knees there, but it's more of a hinge from the waist. And come up, big rotation in the hips. And down. Feel it. Upper core, lower core, all working together. down outside our foot and feel that crunch in the weight. And we twist and we press. I'm gonna feel the glute. Ready? Deep breath. Here we go. Push it down, up, twist and press. Down. We've got an oblique crunch, narrow oblique. Abs are tight. Glute squeezes right there. Feel it? So, feel it. Say what I come on. I want to get some nice shoulder work, arm work here. And good. All right. Going to the other side. Breathing hard. 
Here we go. Get down. 133. I'm in my 130s. And I'll burn into less fat. 220 minus my age. 0.65 and 0.85. I'm going to swing the lower part of that range, lower half. So I'm burning about 75% of my calories. 70 to 75% from fat. Get the jumping up and down. Really impacting joints, which we don't want to do. And get our heart rate higher. But what happens when you do that? You're actually burning less fat calories. Percentage wise. So you might burn a few more calories overall. Really, no more fat calories than doing a safe workout. Alright, gonna hold the weight here. Toes and knees are up. I'm gonna do a wide squat or activate, come up, lean, and up. So, oblique lean from the wide squat. Go deep or go very little. You can pick, the, pick the level. So, it's down and up, lean and up. Activate, up, lean. Like that. Pick which one works for you. Or maybe you go about halfway down. That feels good. Remember, weight in the heels. So keep it out of your knee. We'll do something similar to this at the end. So I'm kind of warming up that. Okay, Whew. let's move into the lower obliques. We'll get a little glute here too. Now hold the weight here as we push the weight up. Side leg lift, other side. And we're gonna feel the waistline crunch from the lower body. We just crunch from the top, down from the lower. Hold those abs tight. Pull your belly button to the spine. Here comes the sun. I uh, have to wait till the sun comes up and gets in the sky in the summertime to do my videos because of this. It's raining when we started, but it's not raining anymore. So I apologize for any shadows that are going to start to come on me here. Let's just enjoy the sunshine. And I just realized I don't have my chair. I know I put a little comment in the introduction to grab a chair. So I'm going to use my Fireplace mantle. You can put your hand on your chair or couch or coffee table. We're going to hold ourselves with one hand, other side, leg and arm, same side. We're going to crunch them down, kick them out. Abs are tight here. Keep those hips nice and square. So don't lift the hips. Get my balance. Here we go. It's a balance workout. That little bobble I had, that's my stabilizers. Jumping in to keep me from falling. So, that's a good job for <laughs> my stabilizers right there. That's a tiny standing leg, a real tiny bit in that standing leg. And again, weight in your heel and keep it out of your knee, okay? Hold the abs tight, low extension. The rest of you need to, this is a tough move, I get that. And it's a, coming near the end of this workout. All right, feel it? Standing leg two, right? So the other side, and that little bend is super important for the weight in that heel. It's gonna keep you safe on your standing leg. Get ready to crunch. Here we go, crunch it, reach. Abs tight, hips square. So we don't, as we get tired, lift that hip. You wanna keep that hip right there. Feel those abs, feel that core, glutes, balance. It is all happening right here. I thought, oh, clouds, rain, awesome. We can start early, filming, while the rest of the house is asleep. Good plan. Don't mind the sunshine. It's a Sunday morning here. All right, we're going to a curtsy lunge or touchback. So either way back, come up with a kick. Whoop, there it is. <laughs> or 
Touch it back up, and kick. Ready? Get your balance, right leg back. Curtsy, come up, plant the foot, and kick. Or, after you do a couple, if you can get that balance. Right there. Release in that front heel, tap it back, kick. Tap it back, kick. Go low if you can. Find which one works for you. This is a tough one. In that front heel. Good. Keep going, come on. Feel your glute? I sure do. <laughs> Last one, come on, finish with me. I'm gonna finish it. Lost my balance here a little bit. That's the name of the game though, this workout. Other side, you ready or not, because we're going. In three seconds, deep breath in. Here it is, take it back, curtsy or tap. Find your balance, and then kick. Maybe the first couple, you need to put your foot down, or maybe for the whole section, you need to put your foot down. One side's gonna be easier than the other. This is my more challenging side, maybe you can tell. Focus on balance. Slow it down if you need to. Plant the foot and then kick. You're just starting out. Oh boy, there's Jake. Why is he up? <laughs> maybe he saw the sun. Come on. Stay with me. Whew. All right. So I'm back to one weight. There's a couple options for you here. Weights in your right hand. We're going to step or lunge, side lunge. As you come up, pull the weight up. I'm going to push and kick. Balance. Ready? Over, knee in, kick it. Over, tap your foot, and kick. Take the deep bend out if you need to. So I get that balance. Over, in, and kick. You want to be moving this upper and lower body at the same time. It's going to get our heart rate up. It incorporates more core, too. And it's hard. Look at me. I know it's hard. Tapped it down there because I felt my balance wobbling. The stabilizers are getting trained. And that's what we want. All right. In your left hand, ready to go to the other side. Whew. Here it comes. How's your heart rate? Pop it above 138. Perfect. If your heart rate's different than mine, come over, bring it in, and it. If it's higher, just starting out, it likely is higher because as we train our muscles and our heart, the most important muscle, right? <laughs> we need it. It gets more efficient. So one pump pushes more oxygenated blood out to the muscles, so the heart doesn't have to pump quite as often. So that's what you're doing. You're strengthening that heart. So as you continue. To work out, it gets stronger and stronger. So one pump, boom, is more efficient. And that's what we want. All right. Whew, you know where I'm at. Bringing the weight up. We have a tricep extension, fun stuff. Leg raise, ready? Sorry, I had to catch my breath there. Light, slight bend in those knees, don't walk them. Balance in the lower ab crunch. Leak. Bonus. Back of the arms. Line up. Relax your neck. I see that because I'm a little stiff. Keep it loose. Breathing. Don't hold your breath. Balance work makes this one. Hold the breath. Go back here, arms too. It's a little burn, right? And rest. All right, I am putting the weight down. This is the one I mentioned when we were doing the last wide squat series. Again, a little activation or go deep. While we're in that squat, hands behind your head, we're down. 
lean, in and up. Here we go. Down, lean, bring it in and up. Or activate, lean, in, up, activate, lean. Drive it up. Go where you can here. Weights in your heels. Say it over and over. I'm reminding myself too. Okay, 
because I want for you to have the best, healthiest life that you can. And to do that, we've got to exercise. Bring one arm across, drop the shoulder. You gotta move your body. You want it to keep moving for you, right? Into old age. You gotta keep it moving now. You know, 70 is not the time, 80 is not the time necessarily to decide it's time to start work in the body. Cross your hands behind your back and round your shoulders. Now, if that is you and you're here, I'm proud of you for that. If you're somewhere between 40 and 70 or 80, and you've decided to take care of you, that's fantastic. Stretch out your neck. Let's go to the other side. Did you like the video? Leave me comments. Keep breath in. Exhale, give it a thumbs up. If you want to do it again, that'll put it in your YouTube library. One more time. If you subscribe to the channel, when you open your YouTube page, the latest video will be there, so you'll see what just came out on my channel. So I invite you to subscribe, which is never cost of subscribing and helping me build this channel and community, which means more and more workouts for us. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you next time.